Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another video from the Saddle Hunting Channel here. If you would real quick do us a favor and click on the subscribe button below, we'd appreciate it. That helps us out a whole bunch. I uh, today am bringing you a review of an Amsteel Daisy Chain, in this case the Tethered Versa Lynx, and looking at it in comparison with the Tethered Versa Strap. Let me just give you a few of the specifications to get started. I've taken both of these down to their stock uh, build without any kind of rubber or stretch cord on them. The Versa strap comes in slightly lighter. It's 1.4 ounces, whereas the Versa link is 1.6 ounces. But to be honest, guys, you know, that's a fifth of an ounce. Nobody's going to notice that in real world usage. So for all intents and purposes, they're the same. I am using them on my modified Hawk Helium sticks with a DIY Versa button. You guys can see this Versa button here. It's made out of grade 8 hardware with a 1 inch fender washer. I've got a video on how to modify these Hawk Helium sticks from their full 30 plus inch length down to 24 inches. These modified sticks with this amp steel come in at 2 pounds 4 ounces. So just about a third of a pound more than like beast sticks. Anyway, let me show you first how I've got these wrapped around the sticks so you can kind of see how compact they are. We'll start with the Amsteel Daisy Chain. I just run them around the top standoff and the bottom standoff until I run out of room. They sit really, really flat. They, they fold up nicely. They don't get in the room of your standoffs when you're going to stack them. They pack really, really well. The Versa straps are thicker, obviously, but they pack well as well. They are super flat, so you can see that that even they they get nice and flat down to the side. So the next step standoffs when I stack them just go right over without getting in the way at all. So I don't give an advantage to one or the other in that category. Let me put them on the tree and show you a little bit about how to use them. We're going to start with the Versa Link. A couple things to point out about this. It's got about 18 inches starting off that do not have any any loops so if you're going around a really dinky tree you might not have a loop to use and you might have to go around twice not that that's the end of the world another thing to note about these sticks the first loop is pretty large you can see that I, I would bet that's in the neighborhood of three inches or so a lot of companies will make Amsteel daisy chains where the first loop is small so that it goes over the button and stays there securely all I've been doing guys is doubling it up just going around twice and it, it helps to keep it on there other than that both this and the Versa strap are a smidge over eight feet long and the loops on this go all the way to the end the last loop is a little bit bigger than the rest of them to put these on the tree, they're both similar. You're gonna to wanna to set your stick on the tree kind of where you want it, and then run your strap or daisy chain around. I like to run both of them at an angle so that the strap is coming down toward the button when I set it. That way it doesn't settle as much. These loops are, the opening in these loops is a little over two inches, about two and a quarter, I believe. And you'll see very easy to get that around the Versa button. Tons of space. I just loop it around, open the stick up, set it, sets a little bit, and you're done. That's all there is to it. I want to show you though, sometimes you'll run into a situation where the Versa button doesn't hit real squarely in the middle of the opening. Maybe it kind of lands between two of the openings. What do you do there? Well, in order to get rid of some of the play, here's an easy trick. You can take your stick and angle it sideways and then loop it through, bring it back to the front of the tree, grab it, set it, and you see that? That thing only settled an inch and a half, maybe. So that's a really good way to secure it to the tree. Quick, easy, easy to manipulate with gloves on. The Amsteel daisy chains, because the rope is fairly thick, they're easy to grab, easy to open, just user simplicity. So let me compare that though to the tethered Versa strap, which is a little bit different in design. It is a woven strap, same, same material as the Amsteel Daisy chain. It's, it's a um, Dyneema that's the same thing that the Amsteel is made out of. That's why the weight and the strength is so similar. 
Now, the Versa strap, this, these are the mini versions, and they've got a one and three quarter inch opening, which fits really tightly and snug around these one inch Versa buttons. Tethered, I think, quit making these, and I think they've just got the larger standard version. So, you know, that should work on anything from one inch and bigger. I want you to take note though, when you're using these, Tethered recommends that you do not use the first completely closed loop rather go to the second one in. So we've got a partial loop here that may even be closed in fact, then one full one, you skip that one and go into the next one. These straps are pretty easy to use. I just like to set the stick again, make sure, the biggest thing with these is to make sure that it's running flat around the tree. Once again, on an upward angle, bring it around. And you can see here, our button's falling right in between those two. Well, we can do the same thing we did last time. Take our stick, tilt it a little bit sideways. I want you guys to notice the construction of these is two pieces woven together. So you have to separate the two pieces of webbing, which can be a little bit difficult, but you kind of want to get your fingernail in there, separate it, slide it over, bring the stick back to the tree, and then make sure it's completely over the button, and then set it. And these I found grab really, really well. They hold super securely, fairly easy to use. I will say though, if you're hunting in cold weather and you've got gloves on, the Versa straps are harder to manipulate than the Amsteel Daisy chain. So keep that in mind. I would say that's the biggest disadvantage to the Versa straps. The advantage I think of them, especially against the Versa links, is that they fit a little bit tighter around the button because there's extra fabric than the Amsteel Daisy chain. So you gotta weigh what's more important to you. To get it off, same thing. I recommend you don't try to grab it underneath and pull it over. Find where it's spread open, get your finger in there, and then loop that around. So we're gonna pop it up, find that opening, grab it, loop it around the bottom. You might have to angle it again, pull it over. Once you kind of get the technique down, they're pretty easy to use, but once again, with gloves, that gets a lot harder, and you don't want to be grabbing aluminum when it's 20 degrees outside without any gloves on. So that's a quick comparison of the Versa strap against the Amsteel Daisy chain. They're both similar products. You've got to weigh what's more important to you, kind of it fitting tight around the button or the strap being easily easy to manipulate. I hope this video has been helpful to you. We've got some more saddle reviews coming soon and some great stuff coming down the pipeline. So please like, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate your support. Thanks for tuning in.